This amazing medieval town on the banks of the Danube River is just begging to be discovered. I'm a tour guide and I'm excited to show you Regensburg, Germany. One of the best preserved medieval old towns in Germany has an impressive Gothic cathedral, an old stone bridge and a colorful river islands. No wonder that Regensburg rich cultural and architectural heritage is part of a UNESCO World Heritage Sites. Rich history dates over two millennia as the ancient Romans founded the city on a confluence of three rivers. Around the old town you can still find visible Roman remains incorporated in later buildings. But it is Regensburg's 11th and 13th century architecture that defines the character of the old town. Colorful medieval buildings are housing traditional and modern shops, restaurants, hotels and apartments as many people still live in the old town. Most of the narrow cobbled streets are reserved for pedestrians only and they offer a pleasant stroll and a great shopping experience. Streets will take you to beautiful squares and charming little places with beer gardens, fountains and bars surrounded by historic buildings. Along the way, you will also see numerous churches and other significant buildings as Regensburg was one of the major centers of the Holy Roman Empire that lasted over 1000 years. Regensburg economic growth in the Middle Ages was driven by its strategic location as a trading hub along the busy Danube River. This prosperity led to the emergence of a wealthy class of merchants and traders known as the Patricians. This wealthy class of merchants wanted to demonstrate their wealth and status and also needed more security. That is why Patricians built towering townhouses designed as a multi-story residential buildings combining living quarters with defensive features. The patrician families inhabited the upper floors, while the lower levels often served as a storage for goods or as a workshop. The height and grandeur of the patrician's towers served as the symbols of the family's wealth, power and influence, so each patrician family tried to outdo the others, resulting in a collection of tower houses throughout Regensburg's old town. As Regensburg played a significant role in the Holy Roman Empire that united German nations, its town hall was often used as a venue for discussing important matters of the empire. The building is a great example of Gothic architecture. It dates to the 1200s and features pointed arches, decorative elements and tall slender windows. Above the entrance are two figures, the protectors of the city, named Schutz and Trutz. You can see the interior as part of the guided tour that lasts for one hour. You can sign for the tour at the tourist information center located on the ground floor. One of the highlights of the interior is the Imperial Hall, where the emperor and the princes from the entire empire met for imperial assemblies. A beautifully preserved wooden ceiling spans the hall without supports. The tour ends in the basement with prison and the torture chamber. Regensburg is also remarkable as it was one of the centers of the Holy Roman Empire that turned to Protestantism. City's most recognizable landmark and the most impressive building is St. Peter's Cathedral from the 1200s. Its two tall spires can be seen from all around the city as they are reaching a height of 105 meters or 344 feet. Cathedral is richly decorated and they say that nearly 100 images of St. Peter can be found both outside and inside the cathedral. The interior has vaulted ceilings, pointed arches and elegant columns that create a sense of grandeur and spirituality. The cathedral's impressive stained glass windows depict various religious themes and stories and have somehow managed to survive since the Middle Ages. Throughout the interior, you'll find numerous sculptures and statues of saints, angels and biblical figures. But the focal point of the cathedral is its high altar dedicated to St. Peter. Beneath the main altar are historic tombs with the remains of various bishops. The cathedral is also renowned for its magnificent organ and if you have the opportunity, try to attend a performance by the world-famous Cathedral's Boys Choir with a long-lasting tradition dating back over 1000 years. If you want to learn more about the cathedral and admire religious art and artifacts, you should visit the adjacent Bishop's Palace, now a cathedral's museum. Regensburg developed on the confluence of rivers Danube, Regen and Nap. Along the banks of the Danube are now parks and scenic riverside promenades perfect for a leisurely stroll offering beautiful views. Several companies offer sightseeing cruises or even dinner cruises allowing you to relax and soak in the views. 
The Danube was the main trading route in this part of Europe, and thanks to this river, Regensburg has become a prosperous trading hub. One of the most important commodities in the region was salt, which was valuable for preserving food and was widely used in various industries. As demand grew, proper storage facilities were needed and this salt warehouse was built on the banks of the Danube. The imposing building from the 1600s is one of the landmarks of the city. A timber frame structure sits on a stone foundation and features a steep gabled roof, wooden window shutters and prominent wooden beams. Here, the salt from the nearby salt mines would be stored in three main floors before being loaded to the ships. Five additional attic floors were equipped with a complex rope pool system to manage the flourishing trade. The warehouse now houses the UNESCO World Heritage Visitor Center with modern media installations and interactive displays providing delightful insights into Regensburg's heritage. Right next to the salt warehouse is much older and also much smaller building housing one of the oldest continuously operating restaurants in the world. Small Sausage Kitchen has been serving traditional sausages since the 12th century. The Wurstkuchel quickly gained popularity for its sausages, which were prepared using traditional recipes passed down through generations. As it's located next to the stone bridge, this place originally fed the workers, dock workers and traders who were involved in the flourishing medieval trade along the Danube River. And as you can see, it is still popular. You'll probably have to wait in line to get the taste of famous sausages. They are made from a mix of pork, beef and various spices, creating a delicious and distinctive flavor. It is customary to eat the sausages with a bread of roll, mustard and sauerkraut while sitting by the river and admiring the old stone bridge. The bridge is one of the most iconic landmarks of Regensburg. Now a pedestrian-only bridge was built in the 1100s as an arch bridge with 16 arches. Today there are only 15 visible arches, a salt warehouse was built over one of the arches so that the boats could be unloaded within the building. The bridge was constructed using massive limestone blocks which gave it its distinctive appearance and durability. It was built in only 11 years to be used as a way to cross the Danube to proceed towards the Second Crusade. A masterwork of medieval construction quickly became famous and served as a model for other stone bridges built in Europe in the 12th and 13th centuries. For more than 800 years, this stone bridge was the only bridge in the area to cross the Danube, contributing to Regensburg importance as a trading center and became the symbol of the city's power and influence. Along the entire south end of the bridge, an array of water mills was built, making use of the currents the bridge has created, and the revenues were used for the upkeeping of the bridge. There used to be three towers on the bridge, one at each end and one in the middle. To this day, only the tower on the city side survived. It was used as one of the city gates to enter Regensburg. After reconstruction in the 1600s, the tower was decorated with a clock. For about 900 years, Stone Bridge connects Regensburg Old Town and large Danube River Islands. On one of them is a neighborhood of Stadtamhof that used to be a separate medieval town with history dating back more than a millennia. Its exceptional river island location is striking, but Stadtamhof had to endure a lot especially in the times of war and was repeatedly destroyed. The bridge leads you straight to the main street that resembles a square. It is lined with beautiful houses and is full of cozy cafes and restaurants, small shops and handcraft businesses. Along the banks of the island, you will find walking paths and picturesque corners. On hot summer days, you will even see people swimming in the river. Here is also a medieval hospital complex from the 1200s with a church. It was strategically built just outside the city walls, serving as a specialized plague hospital. Remarkably, even today, the complex is still providing healthcare services. Regensburg is also home to one of the largest private castles in Europe. The castle of the noble family Turn and Taxis is a massive complex that started its life as the oldest monastery in Bavaria. The monastery was founded in the 700s at the grave of a Christian martyr and missionary, St. Emmermann, hence its name St. Emmermann's Abbey. Over time, the abbey complex grew with cloisters, chapels and other buildings. Its most impressive building is St. Emmermann's Basilica, known for its Gothic architecture and impressive Baroque interior with intricate artwork, frescoes and sculptures. 
In the 1800s, the monastic buildings were acquired by the Turn and Taxis family, who played a significant role in developing modern postal services and communication networks of Europe. They had converted the monastery into their residence and the palace became known as St. Emmerman Palace. The only way to see the palace is to join a guided tour lasting about 80 minutes, but unfortunately I can show you anything as you are not allowed to take any photos or videos. About 12 kilometers or 7.5 miles from the old town, along the banks of the Danube River, rises a hill with an impressive Greek lookalike temple. Despite it looks, this is not an ancient temple, but a neoclassical monument from the 1800s conceived by King Ludwig I of Bavaria. Memorial was officially inaugurated on October 18, 1842, marking the 1000th anniversary of the famous battle in which Germans defeated Hungarians and established the East Frankish Kingdom. Obviously, the design was inspired by the famous Greek temple of Parthenon in Athens. Memorial was envisioned as a grand hall to honor German-speaking men and women of outstanding merit as an inspiration and reference point for the nation. The place was named after the warrior's paradise of Germanic mythology, Valhalla. Impressive hall features busts of celebrated German-speaking figures who contributed significantly to the art, science, politics and other fields. Be sure to check the description below where you'll find my other favorite Regensburg experiences. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing. My name is Rock, thanks for the thumbs up and for watching and see you next time.